On behalf of both Adam and Katie, I welcome you to this gorgeous space here at the Willard. I'm Father Kelly, this is Cantor Manovich. We come from two very long, steady faith traditions. We'll make sure they're good and married. Is your, is your train, or train's as big as some zip codes I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just staying away from it, that's all I can say. We're here today to share this special moment with Katie and Adam. Each of you holds a very special place in their hearts. They cannot imagine joining their lives together without you being here. They would like to take a moment to recognize those who are not here in person this evening, including Katie's grandmother, Bee, and those here in spirit, her brother, Bo, her grandfathers, Bob and Rids, her aunt, Lynn, and her cousin, Kim, and Adam's grandfathers, Alvin and Larry. Marriage involves two families coming together as one. Katie and Adam have designed a ceremony combining the traditions of both of their faiths. Before we move forward, Katie and Adam would like to take a moment to honor their parents who have served as role models throughout their own marriages and their unconditional love for their families. They look to their parents as sources of inspiration and support as they enter the next chapter of their lives. So we welcome the parents to offer the, your prayers. Here's a microphone for you guys. Stand right you can stand right there on the floor. Yeah. You can just use the microphone so they can hear you. Yeah, I think John's first. Yeah. Here we are. Source of life. We ask for your blessing on our children. We hope that the sacred commitments of their wedding day will sustain them all the days of their lives. May the love that binds them strong and lasting, and may their hearts be filled with patience and understanding for one another. May they be blessed with health, courage, and good fortune, their love and friendship deepening through the years. May the family they create be a strong part of our larger family. God of life, let your divine presence illuminate their home and their lives, blessing them with unfailing love. Thank you. In 
a moment, I'll invite you to pray with me the Lord's Prayer. But before we do so, I just want to explain a little bit of the background. A lot of people will think, well, the Lord's Prayer is a Christian prayer. It really predates that. It's a prayer that goes back to the time of the rabbis and the disciples. In fact, Jesus and his disciples would have prayed this because all being Jewish, it was a real honor to have time to study the Torah, the early scriptures in the Old Testament. And for that reason, because their lives were so, so uh, difficult at times, it was a special honor. So the prayer called the Scholar's Prayer said, we thank you, God, that we can go and read your word, that your word delivers us from evil, keeps us from temptation, and becomes our daily bread, which is the structure for the prayer that we often now pray as the Lord's Prayer. So this is a good example of much of what we do in the Christian tradition is, is taken from the strong roots of the Jewish tradition. So I invite those who know the prayer to pray with me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Another tradition that we have in the Catholic tradition, which is here again rooted in Judaism, is at the end of Shabbat, you'll say Shabbat Shalom. At Mass, we'll often say, may God's peace be with you. So I'm going to invite you in a second to stand and introduce yourself to the folks around you. In doing so, share a sign of God's peace, because it's because of the relationship we have with Adam and Katie that we are gathered today. But we will be blessed to be with them at many special moments throughout their marriage. So we've become their community. So it's their love that links us together. So that may God's peace be with you. I invite you to stand for, you only get like 20 seconds now. You don't get the whole rest of, <laughs> this is enough cocktail time. <clears throat> Share God's peace. <laughs> I just have to tell him that. I've been there before. Very cool. Oh, no way you can put them down. I know, this will be hard now. Oh, so. I did my part. You, you, you'll get him to shut up. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. You all did that very well. Baruch haba b'shem Adonai b'erach nuchem mi b'et Adonai. Bless to you who have come here in the name of God. Thank you for joining to celebrate the marriage of Katie and Adam. They stand under the beautiful chupa, which is the Jewish tradition represents the home created together as a married couple and the importance of family and friends. It's open on all sides, just as Abraham and Sarah had their tent open on all sides to welcome their loved ones. May your home, Katie and Adam, be a shelter against storms, a heaven of peace, a stronghold of love. We have here three cups of wine. But you want to hold? Yeah. I'll hold one. Uh, two of them come from each family. Uh, the bride and groom drink from their family cups before joining to drink from the same cup, a symbol of their commitment to share all 
the future may bring. All of the sweetness that life's cup may hold should be sweeter because you drink it together and whatever bitterness it will contain should be less bitter because you share it together. This is uh, Adam's bar mitzvah cup with he, which he received at Washington, <laughs> Washington Hebrew congregation and I was his cantor there and I can attest he did good. <laughs> So please join uh, in the blessing. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Perichan Gafen Amen. And this is uh, Katie's goblet from her family. So why don't you just... Just hold it. Just, well, you can take a little sip now. We said a blessing. So it's mine. That's for my doctor. Oh, okay. Just so everyone knows. <laughs> Katie says her cup goes back to her baptism. That's even older than your cup from your bar mitzvah. <laughs> wow. she, she wins again. Now, we, we put whatever is left in the new Kiddush cup. It's a family Kiddush cup, um, which now going to be served and used on every uh, every occasion in their life. So please take a sip. And this Kiddush cup was given to young couple as a gift from Adam's Adam's grandmother Millie. I now invite Katie's cousin, Leslie, to do a reading from the first letter of Corinthians. Here's a microphone for you. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Thank you. We now invite Adam's cousin, Ali, to read from Katie and Adam's Ketubah, a Jewish marriage contract which was just signed 10 minutes ago, <laughs> outlining their promises to each other. You are my best friend, my hopes and future, my strength, my soulmate. Through all time and space, there has been no love like ours. And our story will unfold with beauty, grace, and meaning. We pledge to cherish and sustain each other, meeting life's trials with quiet strength and courage, and meeting life's blessings with wonder, joy, and laughter. We will grow as individuals and delight in an elegant freedom born from mutual respect. Through all time and space, there will be no story like ours. Thank you. And we invite now Kitty and Adam's parents to come forward and join us up here. We want you to be close by for the vows and the rings.
<laughs> Hello? All right. For those of you who, that don't know, Katie and I met the old-fashioned way, the internet. <laughs> Let's try again. Everybody hear me OK? All right. For those of you that don't know, Katie and I met the old-fashioned way, the internet. Back in 2017, I decided to take a random, a wild chance on someone I knew nothing about. Some may think that this is by luck or by chance, but I truly believe it was fate. When I first met you, it was confusion at first sight. <laughs> Who is this spiritual woman? Why is she predicting the future with her tarot cards? And who wears a leotard to a tennis date, <laughs> let alone a first date? After a long first date, leaving puzzled to learn more, I knew I had to get to the bottom of this enigma, as I never met a woman like this before and was determined to figure her out. Over the years, you and I have built an incredible friendship, one with mutual respect for each other, emotional support, and always challenging each other to expand our thinking. As things progressed, we fell in love in New York City, hitting every gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free restaurant <laughs> on Park Avenue, one bite at a time. Fast forward, your father rescues us from a world pandemic on a round trip drive, only to land back in DC in the middle of riots and protests. But I knew, as long as we had each other and were together, nothing could knock us down. This is when I started to fall deeply in love with you. We were partners from then on there in everything we did. You turned out to be someone I could never live without, and I want nothing more than to spend the rest of my life with you. Today I stand here with our families beside us, holding hands, taking our first step in the journey of life together once again. This is what we do. We go into uncharted territories together and always prevail, so I have no fear. Katie, you bring me great happiness, a smile whenever I am down, an adventure on a boring day, cooking and dancing in the kitchen, but most importantly, how much you and I appreciate family time. Katie, as your husband, I make the following promises to you. To always protect you, to stand by your side and support your fight, to listen before assuming, to not hold grudges, let apologies come easy, and to always hold the door. That one's for you, John. <laughs> To date, I have never said I love you to another woman, except for you. And for the rest of my life, I plan to keep it this way, as you are my one and only true love. I love you. Good job, Adam. <laughs> Adam. I am beyond excited to start this new chapter with you. I knew you were the one when after two years of friendship, we finally had our first real date and you took me to meet your parents right after. <laughs> and then when you met my parents two months later, the moment we left, you looked at me with the biggest smile and said, I love having in-laws. <laughs> Well, today is the day. <laughs> the merging of two lives, the joining of two families. I can't believe we both found our person and that it was each other all along. Together we've survived long distance, a world pandemic, two moves, job changes, sickness, writing a book, the sale of a house, and so much more. You always put me first, and I always know that I'm okay as long as I'm with you. You are my safe place, my good luck charm, my forever companion, and my very best friend. I'm so excited for the incredible life we're creating together. When I'm with you, life makes sense. And in the moments that it doesn't, you're there to make me laugh, hold my hand, and comfort my worries. Whatever comes our way, I know we can handle it as a team. I believe in you, and I believe in us. When you proposed on the anniversary of losing Bo, you wove this incredible beauty into the hardest day of my life. You've taken my tough memories and turned them into good, taken my pain and given it purpose. You've shown me real love, taught me the power of commitment, and brought me so much joy. My wish for us is that we will find the beauty in every situation life brings us, that we'll put our phones away, 
Be in the moment, smell the roses, and look up at the stars. Let us give and be generous wherever we can. And let us love each other when there is sun, and even more when there is rain. Thank you for always believing in me, always challenging me, always supporting me, always loving me. You are a gentleman, a hard worker, a family man, and a dreamer. I promise to be your partner, your teammate, and your biggest fan. I promise to uphold our mutual love for family, business, long conversations, and big adventures. And most of all, I promise to love you as much as I can every day of my life and to work with you every day to create a life beyond our wildest dreams. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Why don't you hold her valve so she doesn't do some... She worked hard on those things. <laughs> We've witnessed your exchange of vows. Now these wedding rings, which will appear Mike. shortly, become endearing symbols of the promises you've made to one another. May their shining substance be a symbol of your enduring love and affection. So Adam, repeat after me. Hare at. Hare at. Nekudeshet li. Nekudeshet li. Betaba at zo. Betaba tat zo. Kedat Moshe, Kedat Moshe, Israel, Be Israel, be consecrated to me, be consecrated to me, with this ring, with this ring, as my wife, as my wife, in keeping with the heritage of Moses and Israel, in keeping with the heritage of Moses and Israel. I, Adam I, Silverman, I, Adam Silverman, take you, Katie, take you, Tipala, Katie, Tapala, to be my wife, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love to, and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Put the ring. Do I put him? Yeah. He, he just. He next. Katie, it's your turn to place of a ring on Adam's finger. You can look at him, but repeat after me. Okay. I, Katie DePaula, take you, Adam Silverman, to be my husband. I, Katie DePaula, take you, Adam Silverman, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have Adam and to hold. Oh, sorry. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. <laughs> for better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Now you put it on his finger. <laughs> it fits. Cool. Sure. Now we're going to light the candles behind us. You'll see this in a second. And just so you know that the actual candles, the, these big ones, the two small tapers, were used at your parents' wedding anniversary, what, 35 years ago? 35 you, years. Your wedding 35 years ago. So, so we repurpose a lot of stuff up here. <laughs> <laughs> if it works, you might as well keep using it. So, so I invite both your mothers to light the outside candles. And when they lit the outside candles, then Katie, Adam, you'll light the middle candle. And it symbolizes how you take the love and faith and wisdom from your families as you start your own household. Give me one second. Okay. Let me play with fire, which is actually amazing. Secrets you pre light them. <laughs> This one and this one. Got it, okay. Thank you. Katie, Adam, yep, come up and you can take the same. Oh, she has a lot of dress there. Okay. Yeah, I just. She has a lot of dress to move, okay. You take the flames and light the middle candles, you invite God's light and energy and humor into your own household. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now you 
if I should go back and bring a suit. Okay. Just be real careful in her dress. Yeah, make the, you have to be careful. <laughs> the dress has its own zip code, it's okay. I know, exactly. <laughs> we continue with traditional Sheva Barachot, or seven blessings, which unite two couples together. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Ma'orei Terich May your marriage enrich your lives. May your work together to build a relationship of substance and quality. May the honesty of your communication build a foundation of understanding, connection, and trust. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher yatsar et ha'an metzalmo, betzelem temotam nito, vechitimo mimenu dinyan adeyad bar. May you respect each other's individual personality and philosophy and give each other room to grow and fulfill each other's dreams. May your sense of humor and playful spirit continue to enliven your relationship. May you understand that neither of you is perfect. You are both subject to human frailties, and may your love strengthen when you fall short of each other's expectations. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher barat sason v'simcha, Atan v'kala gilarina, Ditzachedva, Achava v'chava v'shalom v'reyut, Meher Adonai Eloheinu, Meher Adonai Eloheinu, Yishama May you be best friends, better together than either of you are you apart. And now, family and friends, we're asking you to pray in silence for the well-being of Katie and Anna. We pray in silence. May you be blessed as 
The blessing we'll do in a second is here again a blessing that's used in both of our traditions. It goes back to very strong ancient Jewish roots. It is one that we still use in Catholic and Jewish worship services. <laughs> May God bless you and keep you. May God's countenance shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God be gracious to you and give you the gift of peace. Amen. 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 Katie and Adam, you've given yourself to each other by sacred vows and exchanging of rings. In the presence of God, and thus your community of loved ones. All of us here rejoice in your happiness. We pray that this day may mark only one of many, many more blessings that you will share together. So by the power vested in us by the deceased Supreme Court, we now pronounce you husband, and one. Almost, almost. <laughs> oh, wait a second. <laughs> it is a Jewish custom to end the wedding ceremony with the breaking of the glass. Breaking of the glass at the wedding is a symbolic hope that your love for one another will remain until the pieces of this glass come together. As Adam breaks the glass, I invite you all to shout Mazel Tov, which means, not now, wait, <laughs> when he breaks the glass, uh, which means congratulations and good luck in Hebrew. Please then toss the rose petals as they walk down the aisle. Are you ready? Oh, okay. yeah. Go for it. All right, go. Thank <laughs> you. 